I have to give major credit to this anime because this is a series that easily could have just made Chise the focus for the entire series and it would still be an amazing anime. But I always thought the reason that this series stuck out from a very early stage was Chise and Elias. Obviously the two's growing relationship, but both of them had a lot of growing to do individually, not just with their individual relationship. And I have to say, the focus on Elias over the past few weeks here, even, you know, six weeks you could say, it's been a subtle but very gradual transition from Elias not really that protective of Chise, minus her using magic, to very much becoming very attached and dependent on Chise. This started back when Chise first made her wand when she went to the Land of the Dragons. Elias was feeling cold and lonely, and he didn't know why he felt so cold. It wasn't until Chise came home that he felt warm again. And it's been a slow but gradual transition to him becoming more and more attached because obviously he cares and loves for Chise without really understanding his own emotions. Where Chise is also becoming more and more fond of Elias, but also is becoming her own person. And I love the fact of how Elias reacts to this week's episode when Chise has a friend over because if this was just the only transition we saw of Elias, this would be horrible writing. But we've had weeks of building up to this moment and it makes it so perfect because Elias gets jealous that Chise has someone other than himself that she wants to talk with and hang out with. And he just explains it so perfectly that he tells Chise, you know, I heard your voices and I just had to leave the house. I couldn't stand to be there. And when I was running away and noticed that you were coming after me, it gave me comfort, but I couldn't stop running. And then eventually Chise says, well, that's jealousy. And I love that because this jealousy and this commitment and just attachment has been building up week after week while focusing primarily on Chise while making this Elias element the side kind of aspect to these stories and the fact that he is so like overprotective the fact that he took control of Chise last week without even asking he doesn't understand barriers and boundaries and he doesn't understand that sometimes you know a couple or just two people do need to have their space and need to have their friends and they ultimately end up having their first fight I mean Chise actually gets mad at Elias and I believe this is the first time she's actually been pissed off at Elias and rightfully so but that's the thing you're gonna have your ups and downs in relationships yes this was the extreme Elias was going to consume her but Elias is a creature he's not a human he does have a human element inside him be it a heart or a soul or a mind there's something human about Elias but of course he is going to act out very differently than, say, Chise would or a normal human would because look at Elias, he's not a normal human. But I love how Chise does react. She does get upset, she does threaten to harm herself, which, of course, angers and scares Elias into stopping what he's doing and snaps him out of it. But she's not going to stay mad after that because it was jealousy. It's not like Elias was trying to hurt her because he hates her, he wants her dead, like say when her mother lashed out on her back when she was a child. It's a very weird relationship, but because we're 18 weeks into the show, we understand why they act the way they do, and why of course Chise isn't going to stay mad at Elias. And I thought it was beautiful how they've been writing up Elias and how his like growing attachment for Chise, but ultimately it's just a beautiful relationship for how weird and just, just kind of scary at times it can be. And I absolutely adore this episode. It's hilarious that Chise, without even meaning it, was singing Elias a lullaby and ultimately used magic and knocked him to sleep. And then her just like sticking the potion down his throat. It's just the weirdest. He just wakes up in the most awkward way. It's just adorable and hilarious. And I think Ruth says it best, you know, for the longest time, it was almost like a father-daughter relationship, and now it transitioned to a mother and son, because they're not a normal couple. I, I mean, eventually they would become one, obviously, or probably will, but they have this weird, almost like parent and like student-teacher-student relationship, and it's very interesting to watch how they grow and develop, and it's just very interesting to see just the strain her magic continues to have on her body. I mean, in the past two episodes, she's transformed into an animal twice. She used a lullaby in terms of magic, so of course her body's gonna start coughing up blood. It does take a toll on her, and she doesn't have that cure just yet. Just a very comfy episode that just really highlights all the brilliant kind of buildup that we've had over these weeks to showcase why we ended up in this very jealousy kind of focused scene. It is just perfect. I really enjoy just how Chisei's acting. She's very much grown up in a lot of ways. She's starting to act for her own. She gets mad at Ellie, something she wouldn't even dare to do in the early episodes. The character writing is brilliant for this show. And I really enjoyed how it ended here. I love the cliffhanger coming in back to the land of the dragons. Two dragons getting kidnapped. And then, of course, the overseer comes in, massacres a couple of these bandits. But then, ultimately, the big baddie, I think, I think his name's Joseph or something like that, comes into play. And, of course, I feel like 
either for a few episodes or maybe even the remainder of the season, we're going to be focusing on whatever this main antagonist for the season is building up to, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do. I expect a lot of twists and turns, some dark shenanigans. Hell, even Ash and Ayn was still kind of like targeting that girl in this episode, so we know he's not done just yet. Great episode. Seriously, I adored it. There was some... Weird art and animation at times off and on, the character models were a little iffy off and on, but at the core here, this was a really fun episode, I had a grin on my face, even when Chise was in that very dangerous moment, I knew she would get out of it. I mean, Elias, even though he was upset and jealous, I did have confidence that Ruth or Chise would get out of it, and you have to once again give credit to Chise for being able to get out of there. Yes, yeah, she did have some assistance by seemingly the new mother of the forest, if I'm not mistaken, that child who helped Ruth and Chise was from the woman who was pregnant a few weeks back, if I'm not mistaken, then she talked about how when she has kids or something, so I believe that's how that ties into that old ancient spirit that Elias and Shise was hiding from a few weeks back, so that's nice how they tied that up there, but overall, fantastic episode, definitely enjoyed this one a lot, definitely in probably even like my top five of these episodes, I really enjoyed what they did with Elias and the build up here. But let me know your thoughts. What did you think of this wonderful episode? And what was your favorite moment? Let me know down in that comment section below. And before we leave, smack that like button. Share your support. If you need to channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.